Hello folks, thanks for watching our DBSync Cloud Replication and CDM demo. With DBSync's Cloud Replication, you can automatically create and sync Salesforce object schemas, which makes this tool different from any other ETL tool. In addition, CDM provides its users an easy capability to copy a Salesforce instance to one or more other Salesforce instances. This feature enables Salesforce admins, developers, and data migrators to manage their development or data migration projects in a better way. In this video, we will see a couple of use cases that you can implement in your projects. Let's take a look at the platform and see how it works. Once you are logged in, you will be able to define multiple profiles. For example, you can create a production instance and configure it for using bulk API. Then you point it to the database of your choice. The tool supports many databases, so you just need to pick the one you want to work with. You can also go to the advanced settings. Here you can choose to do a file backup and select the directory you wish to download. This is something that other ETL tools normally can't do. On the Salesforce sync object details, you can select which objects you wish to replicate. In this case, I am going to do account. Once you have account, you can exclude some of the fields because you do not always want long text descriptions to come in. To do so, you can slide the fields into the exclude fields box. Also, you can write SQL query in the filter criteria box to segment it out. For example, you can segment the data warehouse and build different profiles for each country. You can also set up how you want to log. The SFLOGC creates a local table of all the messages so you can troubleshoot it. Additionally, you can set up the email notifications so you can receive an email for each time you run it or only when there is an error. It is better to sync it so you only receive notifications when there is an error. That way, your email will not get bombarded. Next, you can provide special processing instructions about how to download non-replicable objects. Another option you have is to schedule the command, the frequency of runs, and the cron expression. There are four commands. Updates database schema, generates the exact schema of Salesforce into your database. Clean copy, which makes a clean download of selected objects for Salesforce to your database. Salesforce to database. That is an incremental update of data from Salesforce to the database. And database to Salesforce, which uploads data from your database to Salesforce. You just need to select the command and it will run. In this case, the selected command is clean copy. So now you can proceed to check the data in your database. When you go to your database, you just need to refresh the fields and you will see the modifications. In the table data box, you will have several columns. The time the sync was run will appear in the update timestamp column. The letter Y in the do sync flag means the field is downloaded and synced. If you marked this as S and you run database to Salesforce, this whole field will get moved into the Salesforce instance. If you delete on Salesforce, is deleted will be marked as true you can see all the standard and custom fields. After the sync is done, an automatic email will send with a summary of what was done previously. It will show you the updated, inserted, and deleted data. The replication report shows if there were errors in the process. That is the flow of how data goes in and out. The next step in the process is how you restore the data. Once in this section, you can see the data schema. This is querying your local database so you don't have to open SQL. You can see all the columns that you have there. You can run a query and see all of the data displayed. Let's say you want to restore the set of data. In this case, you will move this account's activity data to another instance. As you can see, 
the new instance is now empty. To get this done, you have to select the set of data you want and export it. Select the data set you want. CDM understands the relationship and will always process account before task and contact since contact is related to account and task is related both to contact and account. Then you select the profile or create a new one in which the data will be exported. After this, CDM checks the data and sources schema to see if the data packages are installed. If the target does not have certain fields that the source has, that is part of the intrication. It will give you a red flag. Finally, you submit an email where the notification of this action will be sent. Once the data is exported, you will receive an email notification where you can see the results of all executed actions. Now you can check the configured email and you can see the report of the previously done action. When you open it, you have the updated, inserted, and deleted fields. When you check the new instance, you can see all the exported data, the contact, and all the details that came through. This action is reflected on your database. When you click on the target's profile, you can see the exported data. The IDs change when you copy from source to target. So the merge ID corresponds to the ID number of the source, and in the ID column, you will have the new ID number. This way, you can backtrack it all the way and know exactly where it comes from. This is pretty much it for cloud replication and CDM. With DBSync cloud replication, you will have multiple benefits such as fulfill all your compliance and security requirements. This helps you comply with FINRA and other requirements. Zero effort on mapping schemas thanks to automatic schema creation and adjustment. The ability to run database queries on Salesforce data reduces API usage and query latency. And support for cloud, AWS, and on-premise database backup such as Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and more. Run it in batch or real-time incremental data replication. DBSync Copy Data Management gives you all the functionality of cloud replication for Salesforce plus the benefit of create snapshots for your Salesforce instance that can be restored on its parent org or any new org. And no more spending time on matching newly created objects by restoring data with its built-in query builder. Select one or all of its children's children with a few clicks. CDM understand all the relationships and automatically links all related objects. Thanks for watching this demo. If you are willing to learn more about DBSync Cloud Replication and CDM, please enter now at www.mydbsync.com.